Hi everyone, I'm Jack from Jack's English. And I'm Luke from Learn English Like a Pro and welcome to the newest episode of our podcast which is designed to help you improve your listening skills by listening to our natural discussions in English. Yes, and I'm very yeah. excited about today's topic. It's Why? one of my favourites, pubs. Okay, I cool. miss them so much. Yes. So let's talk about pubs. Can you tell us mm. what are pubs like in Britain? Pubs are awesome. Yep. In the UK. Uh, it's... Okay, so a lot of drinking places around the world, um, they're a bit more like clubs or places where you have heavy drinking. In a mm. pub in the UK, it's much more casual. People sometimes go there just for one beer and a bit of food and a chat or even just a bit of coffee, right? So pubs are a place where people can relax and, and get to know other people in your town and just have a, I don't know, a general chat with your family. Mm -hmm. hmm. Good, yeah. So, yeah, I think, as you said, a lot of the places we go to bars in Seoul. Yes. We go to bars, you know, everywhere, even when I was in Australia. And they are sort of, there's an atmosphere, right? And it is that you're there for drinking and uh, it's got a bit of a clubby atmosphere. The interior, I think that's a, a big part of it. So for me, yeah, the, the pubs is all about the atmosphere. Yes. You know, you yeah. particularly the old pubs, you know, with the stone walls yeah. and the, the nice big bar and mm. probably grumpy. Grumpy old man. Gr grumpy landlord, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, right. Um, <laughs> But yeah, I, I love that. Yes. Um, so yeah, I, for me, pubs are the same. Pubs are, yeah, it's a place where the, I think important thing is the whole community gets together. Yeah. So we have our local. Our local is the one we go to. Mm. And we don't go elsewhere, right? I mean, perhaps you do when you're younger and you yeah. meet your mates somewhere, but I think as you get older, stick to one. That's your yeah, place, right, and right. you don't change. And yeah. you like that place. You get to know the landlord. Yeah, this, like I said, it's not a place where you go to get really drunk. Right. Like yeah, you can get drunk there. Obviously, yeah. they do. It is there to. They are there to sell you alcohol. Mm. But it's much more of a social, casual place than a lot of drinking places around the world. Yep. Yeah, yeah I agree. Um, an yeah. interesting thing. Uh, with pubs and, and I suppose this is more interesting when you compare to Korea is that food is a separate thing mm. they you know most places sell food and that's a big part of it for me actually yeah. I love pub meals but it's you know you don't go there to eat and drink together right you, you you go and you have your meal and then you drink or probably you just go there for as you said sort of slow drinks mm. you know and Maybe you have some nuts on the side, but have you heard about nuts in pubs? No. <laughs> no. So, as you know, uh, at the bar, yeah. there's shared nuts. You know, there's these bowls of nuts. Oh, yeah. Sometimes. It, yeah, sometimes. Not yeah, every pub, yeah. but certainly the sort of older traditional pubs, they'll put out nuts. And apparently, they've got more urine... Oh on them than a toilet seat of course they do drunk old men not washing their hands <laughs> yes oh it's awful so i i used to enjoy uh, you know having a, a pint and a few nuts well now it's yeah, just the pint just the pint yeah and perhaps a pack of nuts you know yeah. you have that on the side but you know that as you know it's it's not common to actually eat with your drink yeah i suppose our drinks too filling yeah maybe maybe um i also think that when, if we go to the pub for a meal, then it's at lunchtime, usually. Yep. Usually, not, yeah, not, you're not right. always, but usually. So yeah. you don't drink much at lunchtime. More so than dinner, right? I think people go to pub for lunch more so than, than dinner. I think so. Yeah, yeah. I, well, I used to work in a pub, as, as in most British people did when they're young. Yeah. Um, and we typically stop selling food at about five o'clock. Yeah, right. Because lunch is done. Now mm. people come to the pub to have some drinks, maybe. Yeah, yeah. So I, I think it in the evening, people either go to a restaurant first and then mm. go to a pub or they eat at home and then they come. Yes, right. But they do come for pub lunches. Pub lunch, yeah. Anyway, let's talk about what people do in pubs. So, mm. so what do people do when they go to pubs? Oh, several things. Um, mm. 
well, it depends on what type of pub you go to, I suppose, and what what events they run. So the, my local, or my local pub, like you said, uh, every Wednesday has a pub quiz. Mm-hmm. So every Wednesday, the local people from the town come and basically just do a, a quiz together. Wow. And the winner will win some, I don't know what they win. I never won, so I don't know. Yeah, me too. Uh, I think probably a couple of beers, maybe. I think that's Ra- what Around for the table. Yeah. Um, so that's one thing, pub quiz. Um, mm-hmm. A lot of people watch sports. Mm-hmm. So on, of course, on Saturday and Sundays, we have the Premier League playing. So people go there to watch uh, the football. Mm. Um, what else? Yeah, well, uh, another thing, uh, a big thing it, back home is the darts. Darts, yes. Uh, playing darts. Yeah, sure. Because not only do you go there and play darts with your friends, but each pub has a team. Yeah, that's true. Is this the same back in Wales? Yeah, that's true. Yeah. yeah, and then you've got a team, and then in the area you've got a league. Yeah. And if you win that, there's a national tournament. <laughs> it's a, a big deal, isn't it? You can really go far with darts um and that's I, I think darts as a sport is so strongly connected to pubs isn't it you know mm. you go to watch the darts at the pubs you play darts at the pub um so yeah, darts is a big one pool as well yeah sure yeah pool uh not snooker too big too big yeah but pool is a big one yeah and it's um in the uk you actually have to pay to play pool yep in a lot of other countries around the world the pool table's free Yes, uh, right. We pay a pound per game. Can you imagine that? That's so yeah, expensive. Yeah, that's an awful amount of money, isn't it? So, Just to play one game. Yeah. One game doesn't take long. Exactly. Um, yes, yeah, so so there are... Watching watching sports is big, as you yeah. said. Playing sports. Um, um, also just a place to gather with your friends, right? Um, yeah. It's a, it's a place to go to to socialise. Right. So, uh, and again, we're talking about Korea. We live in Korea now. Uh, in Korea, mostly people go to socialise at coffee shops. Yep. We have you know, a cup of tea, a cup of coffee, a smoothie. Uh, for us, we don't have that many coffee shops in the mm-hmm. UK. Uh, that's not true. We have loads of Starbuckses, but we don't yeah. have any many relaxing coffee shops. Yeah. So instead, we go to a quiet pub. Yes, it's definitely the place yeah. to meet. And I think especially as you go out into the countryside or the smaller towns, sure. it becomes sure. more important in the community. Yes. And that's another thing regarding socializing is people will just go by themselves. And they know that their friends will be there, you know, the local people. And then, of course, they're probably friends with the barman as well. Yeah. And it's just you go there to be around people, yeah. people you, you know. Yeah, yeah. true. So um, now the thing I really want to talk about is what do you miss most oh. about pubs? Because we can't get them here. So what do you miss most? Yeah. Um, I love the food. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so um, uh, I, when I go to, back to the UK, my, my grandfather's always really excited to take me to the local pub to have food together. <laughs> he always talks about when I call him, like, oh, the swan, the pub name. Oh, it's got a new dish. That's our one as well, oh, the really? swan. Yeah, yeah. yeah, swan's got a new a new menu. And it's, yeah. just, it's amazing. you got come, uh-huh. come, we'll have the curry together. <laughs> um, I love that. It's just a place to hang out and have some nice food, yeah. casual, easy food, but with your family and... Yeah, just relax. What's yeah. your favourite pub meal? Bangers and mash. Oh, really? Yeah, I love bangers yeah. and mash. Sausages with gravy and mashed potatoes, if you don't know. With some onion on top. Yes, yeah. that is wonderful. Yeah. What you, what's, yeah. what's your favourite? Favourite pub meal? Uh, probably something like a, a steak pie. A steak pie, oh, yeah. Or, yeah, or actually, no, i tell you what it is. It's easy. Roast dinner. Roast dinner, yes. Yeah, if, yes. if they do a roast dinner. Yeah, then that's not as common anymore. As it used to be. Yeah, well, used it must to... be hard, right? Yeah. It's a lot of a lot work. Of um, also, pork belly is really nice. Oh, I haven't had that. Yeah, that's a new thing that uh, was popular when I was at home last year. Yeah. Pork belly with mashed potatoes. Oh. It's ah. very, for those that don't know, pork belly is um, very soft pork, comes from the stomach area. And... and do they do the outside crispy? Yes. Yeah. I might uh... have to try that next time. <laughs> yeah. The other thing that I, I must mention, because it's a huge part of the pub regarding food, is the plowman's. Oh, okay. Is I'm that... not sure what you're talking about. Oh, <laughs> I thought it was big. <laughs> a plowman's is a pub lunch, yeah. which is a salad, hopefully two or three types of cheese, uh, a roll mm. and ham. Okay. So and normally, you know, it's kind of tailored to the area. So it'd be a local cheese, a local ham and yeah. local bread, that kind of thing. And each 
pubs plowmans is different I see, and it's I see. it's wonderful so, i i really love plowmans sounds good sounds good so what do you miss mostly well as i kind of mentioned before it's it's the atmosphere sure um but it, it really depends on which pub you go to and and mm. it depends whether you go to an, an old pub in london a new pub in London, a, a pub in the countryside, they're all different. Sure, sure. So for me, it would have to be a pub in the countryside. Um, and, and you can just, as you know, you can drive through the countryside and you'll see pubs all the time. And yeah. normally in the countryside, they're the same. They're quite old. Mm. They're a very important part of the community. And they have a fireplace. Mm. Do you have a fireplace at home? I used to. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, I've always had one. Yeah. Well, my parents have always had one, and it's wonderful. Yeah. And I love fireplaces. Um, that's a. I really hope I'll get one when I move back yeah. to England. <laughs> um, but yeah, for me, having a place, you know, miserable weather. Yeah. You pull up in the par- car park, go in, and the fire's, you know, crackling away in the corner. You yeah. get a nice pint. Yeah. That's the atmosphere I miss. So hopefully, I'm going back this winter. Yeah, I'll be too. able to experience. Yes, yeah. yeah. Well, hopefully we can experience together. Yeah, yeah. get some pictures. Snowy everyone. day. <laughs> get in there, crackling fire. Yeah, we'll get some pictures up. Yeah. Okay, great. I think that's really nice to yeah. talk about pubs. It makes me miss it more. Uh, so thanks for watching today's episode. Yeah, again, if you have any questions, always, uh, as always, leave them below in the comments below and we'll check. Yes, thanks very much for watching. Have a great week and goodbye. See you. Bye-bye.